Happy Monday, everybody. Just to let you know, there's only one thing better than a Liliac cover. Yeah, a Liliac original. It's time for reaction. Now, I have said it before, I'm a big fan of Liliac. And it's not just because of the music, and it's not just because they're young people. It's because they play the metal type of music that I grew up on. That Dio, epic metal, right? Uh, it's just, it's that, where, where metal went from the 70s and charged into the 80s. Yeah. The metal that they play is the metal before Motley Crue, Poison, Cinderella, and all the glam metal bands just kind of took over, okay? And it was after, but still holding true to the metal of Black Sabbath and Deep Purple and, right? It's that little, that little, little buffer area for Dio and those epic bands that would, <laughs> it's funny because there are so many bands right now in metal that are playing epic traditional metal, like Dio, you know, whatever. And but right after that that heyday of that epic metal stage in that little buffer area, before the hair metal took off, metal kind of went into two directions. After this section of history, it went glam hair, and it went anti glam hair. Uh, anti glam hair would be like. Slayer, Pantera, Metallica, they wanted to see how fast they could go, how, how aggressive they could go, and that's what they went with. And you had the ones who said, you know what, we could get played on the radio and make lots of money, and then they went that direction. Well, Liliac said, yeah, we could cover all that stuff, and they do, but they said, you know what, our favorite, that our little favorite period of time in metal history is that classic Dio style epic metal and some people refer to it as traditional metal cool um when i did a, an interview uh which is funny when i when i had twenty five thousand subscribers we're now at fifty one thousand. thank all of you for that so halfway to where we are now i did an interview with their dad papa liliac and i mentioned to him i was like my two favorite songs on the on the new album are mystery and, and this one, Dear Father. And he was like, oh yeah, I love those two. Those are my two favorites as well. Um, so we've already done Mystery. And that was great. Love that one. Now we're going to do Dear Father. And I'm hoping it's as, a little darker in its semblance because Sam really pushes the, the hooks on his chords. He does those aggressive chord runs and then he always throws a little a pull hook on them which I love the sound. It's really, really, it's, it's aggressive and I like it. Open here a little bit more from Justin. Um, in the arrangement, of course, keys are really important to this one. Um, Abigail and Melody are gonna do what they do. Looking forward to seeing what Ethan does in the bass. Um, so let's get into this. My name is Old School Nerd. Check us out on oldschoolnerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts. The Patreon link for those who wanna help support the channel. We appreciate every single one of you. And the merchandise store. By the way, this weekend going to be at Louisiana Comic Con hosting a hosting a panel, uh, literally about doing this content creation on the internet. <laughs> I don't know who the hell thought I'd be the authority on that. <laughs> oh, it's dark. I really love the shading they put on the camera lens. You give it that bluish dark color. That was cool.
So we have Papa Liliac putting on the Mac, uh, the Maximus helmet from Gladiator. Yeah, I don't miss a lot of details when it comes to nerdy, geekified stuff. By the way, this is the best mid-video stop I've ever done by accident. Melody's hand is out of focus. Her face is perfectly in focus. And I stopped it here. Normally, as you know, if you're familiar with my channel or you're someone who's watched more than five of my videos, I have a tendency to stop it at the worst possible time, usually to some detriment to the artist because it catches them in an awkward position, i.e. <clears throat> torrential rain. I I'm sorry, but it actually became a great meme for you guys, so I'm, I'm, I'm not sorry. Yeah. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, torrential rain loves the fact that uh, I paused a part of their video for why do I care at a part. If you go back and watch that video. Uh, yeah, caught their bass player in the middle of a mega derp face. Oh, it was, yeah. Unfortunately, fortunately this time, I paid, uh, I gave Melody some, uh, some pretty good props here. It's a great stop. By the way, everybody, this will be your thumbnail. Watch. Okay. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the reaction to the video, and I have no idea why I'm still talking. You saw that, guys? You saw that? Let's break this moment down, shall we? Um, you guys aren't going anywhere, right? I didn't think so. Okay. Now, <clears throat> one of the biggest concerns that Papa Lily and I talked about was the fact that our kids aren't getting any younger. And just like myself, he doesn't exactly have ugly children. I mean, Melody and Abigail are just going to get more beautiful as they get older. And now that they are, a, you know, they're pretty much adults. Well, Abigail's definitely an adult and, and Melody's there too. And so is Sam and Ethan and Justin are coming up pretty quick too. And we talked about, you know, the, how is he handling it with all the dating and stuff? And he's like, oh, you know, I, I take it, I take it a little bit at a time. And I, yeah, he's, he, you know, he's super cool dad, right? Yeah, you know, we, 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 it's no problem. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's no problem. Because when Melody goes out on a date, this is what's really going on. Here's her dad hiding behind a tree with a sword and a helmet. <laughs> what you don't see is in the behind Melody, behind this tree, down here in this little valley gully, Sam, Ethan, and Justin are digging the hole to dump the bad boyfriend in. <laughs> They're just waiting for dad to tell him, okay, dig the hole. <laughs> no, it's not really like that, but man, sometimes that's how, I mean, like right now, I know for a fact, all three of my daughters either have guys that they like or guys that, they, that they're interested in, or in one case, a guy they're actually going out on dates with. And I'm just like, man, I, I got to go, go pre-dig three holes, man. I just, you know, it'd really be like that. <laughs> this, this, is, this makes me laugh. Uh, see, this is the part of the video that Melody didn't think. I wonder if people will think that my dad's making sure that he's, you know, killing off bad boyfriends. Yeah, that's exactly what every dad that sees this video is going to think. Man, I need to get me a helmet and a sword. <laughs> Cheers. Really good structured guitar solo. Like the Tom work. Ooh. 
This is actually this little run here, this bridge part, uh, the post it's post guitar solo bridging going back into a reprisal course section is the part of this song that I've been listening to for a while. It's it's on one of my it's on one of my playlists. It's a place that I play with the kids. And um it's the part of the song that I love the most of it. Here's the reason why. Abigail's doing Tom work, and I love the Tom work. You can definitely hear Ethan walking through with authority. The keyboards are placed perfectly, so good job, Justin. Um, Sam comes off this really well-structured guitar solo and then does these chop notes that really build up the epicness. And then at the same time, a melody is something that we don't get to hear a lot of. I've heard people say, and they're wrong, obviously, because right here, they say that Melody's lower octave voice, she's pushing because she's sounding like Dio and Janice and stuff, but she maybe it's because she doesn't have that traditional vocal ranging and, you know, <clears throat> didn't hear this, did you? When she's not trying to melt your face with metal, she can float in the melodic tones just like your, your regular vocalist does. I know she comes off as this gruff, raspy, aggressive singer, but that's because that's what she loves. But you give her an opportunity, a song to be ethereal, and she can float in the notes too. That's why I love this song so much. So when I did that, when I did that reaction, I did that interview with their dad, and I'm like, I really love Dear Father. And he was like, really? If you go back and listen to him, I'm like, yeah, there's a certain part in there during the bridge and da-da-da. And he's like, I love that part too. This is that part. Let's back it up so you can understand what I'm talking about, okay? So we're coming off, we're coming off this guitar solo. Great, it's a great structured guitar solo. But when I talk to Papa Liliac about the maturity, how the band's really beginning to mature musically, this is what I'm talking about, both in songwriting and performance. So it's a very well structured guitar solo. It fits the song perfectly. But instead of just deadening out and having dead space, Sam goes immediately into this chop section where he's doing these chop notes. And then at the same time, you hear both Abigail and Ethan as the rhythm section really walking that dun 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 dun. And they're building this epic, it's, it's an epic buildup. And it allow, and then so as they're doing this and Sam's doing these chop notes, it allow, okay, and then Justin is playing the only melody parts of this. And he's using the keyboards to lightly synthesize into a, an ethereal role. And then so when Melody comes in, instead of doing this, you know, kick in the door, I want to rock, eh, you know, <laughs> right? She's not doing that. She does this. She does this Stevie Nicks in a long white flowing gown spinning thing. But... Unlike Stevie Nicks, she's doing these ethereal notes very softly. Yeah, if you think I didn't notice you spinning in a in a white robe, yeah, like like yeah, like a Stevie Nicks video. So here we go. What this is my favorite part of this video, and I know I talk a lot, but it's kind of my thing. Most of you already knew this, and if you're like, why is he still talking? Because it's my video. It's a reaction. I'm giving you my reaction to this video, and I'm sharing with you how I feel. You want to watch? If you want to listen or watch the video or listen to the song without me talking, the link to the original is in the description below. Please download all of Liliac's music. Spotify, iTunes, like me, Amazon Prime, go for it, please. Please support your, support your youthful bands and extremely overprotective fathers. Homework. You can hear the bass walking, and you hear those. You hear the keys, and it's all building up. Look, Stevie, just spinning.
hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is one hell of a grave that uh, Papa Liliac has made for her bad boyfriend. Hmm. Okay, to the sons of Suents who answered their country's call to serve in the World War 1917 to 1918. This is the World War I monument. I know I'm not supposed to know that, but I can read. Yeah. I learned when I was a kid. Now, some people are going to say, hey, why did you have to expose the fact that it's the World War I monument in Georgia? You know, why, why did you have to ruin that for us? I mean, it looks like an amazing ivory white tower, and her dad is playing the night protector, and she's the... Because I'm a nerd, and I can't help myself, and when I saw the, when I saw the words World War on that sign, I was able to piece together <laughs> the rest of the terms, and I knew the dates because I'm kind of a... History buff, sort of. Although I get a lot of things wrong. No, it's not the hood. I know. I know it's not the hood. Stop. Okay. Uh, one more comical thing I want to make sure everyone knows. Um, I know some of you are going to ask, hey, where's the Liliac metal riser? Where's Abigail's riser? Um, yeah, fair question. Um, guys, it's 1,200 pounds. If you want to move that out in the middle of the woods, be my guest. All of the people that you see on the screen, their dad, their mom, and support people that are all around them, were smart enough to leave that crap back at the house. I'm just saying. It's a lot of work being a rock star. It's true. Now, normally, this is where I would put in <laughs> the lead singer of Gojira, telling everyone thank you in a very abrupt and aggressive way. But it's a liac, so we're going to leave the uh, bad words for another video. Maybe the next one. My name is Old School Nerd. This is Liliac playing. This is the video from Liliac of one of my favorite songs of theirs. Original. <laughs> Dear Father. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Everyone, have a wonderful day. Love one another. Take care of one another. Because each other's all we got.